Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a very quick logo in Word and export it as a PNG file, which will allow you to use it in many different applications. So I'm going to go up to Insert, and I'm going along to Word Art. Now, the reason I'm using Word Art is because if you try and save text in a text box, it will not save as a picture. So let's go to Word Art, and I'm just going to simply click on this text here. Now, currently, this text does have a shadow behind it. So the way in which we're going to edit it is that we're either going to double click or select this box. It's already selected. Make sure you're on the Shape Format tab, which will appear when you've selected it, and go along to Format Pane and click. Then you'll have this format menu that you can use to fully customize your text. So we're going to go along and make sure we're on text options at the top. And then we're going to go along to this icon in the middle, text effects. And here we have these menus here. Click on shadow and go along to the preset icon here. And then go down to no shadow. And then your text will appear without a shadow. So I'm just going to insert my text. My business is going to be called Blossom and Bloom. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to first format this text here and then copy and paste it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my font, font size and the distance between my characters. So double click inside and command or control A to highlight all of the text. Go to the home tab. I'm going to change my text to Apple Braille. I'm also going to change my font size to 28. And then I'm going to right click on my text, go down to font, and then this dialog box will appear. Go to the Advanced tab, go to the Character Spacing, down to Spacing, and I'm going to insert 20. Now you can space out your characters as much as you like or as little as you like, but you'll get a preview in the box down here, and it just spreads those characters out a little bit, just add a little bit more interest, and it means that you can be a lot more flexible with all of the fonts. So then just click OK. So there's my font and all I need to do now is to copy and paste this. Several ways to do that. You can either go up to the Home tab, select the Copy icon and then Paste, or you can go Command or Control C, Command or Control V, or you can just hover over your text and hit your Alt or Option key, watch your cursor change, and then click and drag and you'll produce a copy. Then I'm just going to double click again, go into my text box here, and then insert my text. Now I'm going to put two spaces between the AND icon and my next word, because then when I move this up, it fits perfectly. And we can line that up by hitting the arrow key. If you find it's a little jumpy, then hit the command and the control key on your keyboard and you'll see then when you use the arrow keys it's just small increments. So I'm happy with the text layout there. Then I'm going to insert and go along to icons and again go back over to the right hand side here. We've got images and icons. I'm just going to select plants or type in plants and I'm just going to go down to this leaf here, click on the checkbox, go down to insert. Now often when these are inserted into your document, you can't move them around. A very simple solution to that is either go up to wrap text or right click and go down to wrap text and then select in front of text. Now you can move this around anywhere you like in your document and you can also make it bigger or smaller. So I'm going to make mine roughly the same height as my two text boxes there. And then just click off. If it's a little too close, so I'm just going to move it with my arrow keys. OK. Now a good idea at this point is to actually use the slider at the bottom right corner here to zoom out. 
because sometimes when you zoom out, your logo can look a lot different and you can see how it might look on other applications. If you're happy with it, we now need to group all these elements together. So select the text at the bottom, hit the command or control key on your keyboard, select the other two elements, go up to shape or graphic format, it doesn't matter, go along to group and then select group. Once you've done that, right click, go down to save as picture. I'm going to save mine to my desktop. I'm just going to keep it at picture one. But most importantly, save this as a PNG file. And that means it will be saved without a background. So all you'll get is the black text and the black leaf. Then click save. And now just to show you, if you go to insert, picture, picture from file, my desktop, here's picture one, click insert, and here's my logo. Now again, I can't, whoops. Now again, if I can't move it, just go to wrap text in front of text, and then we can move it around. The great thing about this now is because it's an image, you can stretch it and reduce the size of it as much as you need to to fit with your different documents. If I try to do the same with this one, you can see how it distorts, so it won't work with that one. Perfect. Well, I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.